Los Angeles County is home to one of the nation's largest homeless populations. We will be specifically looking into the cities of Los Angeles and the city of Long Beach. The LA County homeless population was approximately 39,000 in 2011, then spiked tremendously in 2019 to about 59,000 people without a roof over their head. So in short, hostile architecture is any uncomfortable element built into a piece or multiple pieces of furniture in an attempt to deter homeless people from using it. So here are some examples found in downtown LA and downtown Long Beach. So now that you know what hostile architecture is and seen some examples, we are now going to interview the manager of the Caltrans Corporation, who deeply explains how this particular corporation impacts the homeless. So what is your role at Caltrans? Well, I was the contract manager for the Los Angeles uh, area Department of Transportation. And one of those contracts that I saw uh, was the unsheltered persons, we called it, or the homeless contracts. So what are your company's regulations on keeping the homeless off of your assets? Well, as a matter of uh, department policy, uh, Caltrans discourages illegal campments in our right of way. Uh, the goal uh, is uh, removal of the illegal, uh, legal encampments for the mitigation of health, uh, safety, access, concealment issues while respecting the rights of those occupants and informing them of alternatives within the community. So why does Caltrans feel it's important to keep homeless off of the properties? Well, in the past five years, Caltrans as a whole has cleared approximately 15,800 illegal encampments. On any given day, approximately 7,000 persons uh, are estimated to live along the California state highway system. Some districts are finding ways to use preventative measures to reduce the amount of encampments established, such as posting signs near uh, different problematic uh, encampment areas. The signs have been very effective in discouraging single campers when posted. Uh, and we feel a single camper, if allowed by Caltrans to continue lodging along the state right of way, will soon be joined by other com campers for companionship and protection, resulting in larger uh, numbers of campers. How many homeless persons are displaced in the city of Los Angeles? Well, the LA Times reported that in June, uh, in the city of Los Angeles, we had more than 36,000 homeless. This was a 16% increase over the previous year. Los Angeles County, though, was just shy of 59,000 homeless, a jump of 12% over the previous year. Um, what areas are most impacted by the homeless population? Well, as a whole, uh, NBC4 uh, stated in June that four parts of Los Angeles are seeing the biggest jumps. Uh, that includes the San Pedro Wilmington area, parts of the San Fernando Valley, the area around uh, LA Live and the Convention Center, and the Hollywood area. Now, as far as us as Caltrans, um, we are affected the most in the Hollywood area around the 101 freeway. Uh, also, the 90 freeway near Santa Monica is a high impact area as well. So we see that a lot of homeless people are refusing to be put in shelters. Why do you think that the homeless are refusing um, to go into these shelters and homes and would rather stay on the street? Well, first, many do seek shelter. They, they accept the help. There are many people, uh, many more people living in shelters now than ever before. But there are many that, that do decline the help, you are correct. Uh, some reasons, they like their independence, 
the fear of the unknown, uh, concern for their safety, uh, the lack of confidence, and uh, some of uh, just uh, for their pride. Uh, shelters often have structures. They have rules that must be followed. They implement curfews. Uh, they have schedules, um, rules against pets, alcohol, and so forth. This limits the freedom that comes with living unsheltered as they are now. That can be overwhelming for someone who has survived on their own for an extended period of time. Okay, well thank you so much. No problem. Conflict theorists would argue that the hostile architecture is really an example to keep the homeless away from being a part of our society. So why does hostile architecture even matter? Well, this is where the sociological imagination comes into play. The alienation of the homeless basically talks about how society lacks this perspective and is the reason for the hostile architecture. Choosing to invest in making life harder for the homeless and also choosing to make it impossible for the homeless to spend the night in public areas. They are using hostile architecture to hide this very much ongoing issue of the homeless. <laughs>